Hi guys, just going to do a little test here uh, to see what sort of voltage we get out of normal AA batteries. Now I've got some absolutely brand new fresh uh, zinc carbon ones here which I don't expect to get much out of because they're cheap but we'll see what they give us. Then I've got some, uh, well they're badged Duracell I believe they can be made by many different companies nowadays. They're not absolutely fresh. They have been used a bit, but we'll see what they come out at. Uh, just for comparison. So, first of all, we'll open up this pack. I love the way they package them. For free. Well, no, they're not free. They're in the same price as the package, aren't they? Um, right, one, two, there's a reason for using five I'm going to use, you'll see in a minute, three, four, I can't get it in, four, and more, five, let's see what it says as soon as I plug it in. 8.1 volts, 8.2 volts. Is that clear? Okay, so that's our five one and a half half volt batteries, which should be giving us seven and a half volts according to what everybody thinks of AA batteries. We'll just give these ones a try. As I say, they're not absolutely fresh. But I think I've only used them once. Alright, well they're only giving me 7.5. As I say, they're not fresh. I suppose I could see if I've got a fresh set somewhere. Here we are, an unopened pack. First five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 7.98 volts we're flashing there. Yeah, just on 8 volts. So I hope that clarifies the situation. People get very upset when I talk about LiPo batteries and like to tell me that a 2S LiPo isn't really 7.4 volts, it's actually 8.4 volts. Well, yes, it is when it's freshly charged but it also goes down below 7.4 volts as well when it gets discharged a bit. So there you are, fresh alkali batteries giving us about 8 volts and the lead acid were actually giving us even more, not lead acid, um, zinc carbon and they're about as cheap as you can get those ones. So you don't need to tell me any more about LiPo batteries being more than 7.4 volts. I know that. But my point is, alkali batteries are also higher. So your radio controlled car designer, or the circuit board designer, if he knows he's got to handle five AA batteries, he's going to design it to handle more volts than just 7.5 volts. He knows it can be handling over 8 volts. I was just going to put it all away and I remembered I was also going to try 5 nickel metal hydride batteries. So, freshly charged nickel metal hydride. These are cheap Poundland ones. Only rated at uh, I think they're 800 milliamp hours. Uh, 
Yeah, 800 milliamp hours. Ready? Well, we're only getting 7 volts there. So, people talk about nickel metal hydride being 1.2 volts. So, 5 times 1.2 would actually be 6, wouldn't it? Um, we're getting about 7.1 volts here, so we're doing a bit better than that. We're probably getting 1.4. That would make sense, wouldn't it? About 1.4 volts out of them. These aren't brand new. I've been using them lots, so they may have lost some of their initial um, energy storage. But they're straight out of the charger, still warm. So, about 7 volts from them, whereas we were getting over 8 volts with the zinc carbon and the alkali ones. So that's probably not an absolutely fair test of the nickel metal hydride rechargeables, but that's the best I can do today.